Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the Daily Gratitude Business Briefing for Friday, August 7th, 2020. And what I have for today is what I call the Personal Gratitude Survival Toolkit. I've got a dozen little tips and or reminders that can help you to be not only more grateful, but to help you in the business world as well as personally and as I mentioned, professionally. Uh, number one, gratitude journal. I can't emphasize this enough. The daily uh, mentioned that you mentioned every day that you're writing your gratitude journal, your current intentions and what you're going to be looking for in the future as well. And then a gratitude list. So anything in that journal, very, very highly recommended. Even if you just write three things a day that you're grateful for, be very helpful both, again, personally and professionally. Number two, exercise. Get a partner if you need to. Get an accountability partner. Get somebody that'll help you make yourself accountable every single day. I know that some while back I determined that I was not going to do less than 10,000 steps every single day. I have it on the Fitbit and I just made that pack. But it's also helpful when you have somebody to keep you accountable as well. Uh, number three, tapes, messages, uh, podcasts, all sorts of back to the days of um, when we used to have cassette tapes, DVDs, whatever it is, CDs, anything you can do to get motivation. You can get them on MP4s type of thing. Uh, there's many, many to choose from. Just listen to those things to feed good, positive things to your brain. Number four, contact your friends. Stay in touch with your friends and your family. In this day and age, even if it's just a Zoom call, all the better. Goals, number five, make sure you have daily, weekly, yearly goals. Also, a five and a 10-year goal is also nice to look a little further down the road. Number six, eat right. You are what you eat, as somebody once told me. It's just like putting crummy gas in a car. You can't expect the gas or the car, rather, to work that well if it's got old gas. Uh, get on your weight. Anything you can do to get your weight off, get to your target weight weight. It's going to help you so much physically, but also mentally. It'll affect your confidence. It'll affect everything else that you do. Number eight, self-talk. Two ears, one mouth. When you talk, your two ears hear what you say. I tell people every so often, I'm really good with names. And they go, I'm terrible with names. And I tell them, well, you keep saying that to yourself. You'll always be terrible with names. So make sure that's something that you really focus on is how you hear yourself and the things you're saying. Daily action plan. I always have a daily action plan, my to-do list, if you will. It's great to have it structured. It kind of have from the most important priority of the day to the least important and to get that done. Whatever you can do, number nine, or excuse me, number 10, raise your self-esteem. Anything you can do to raise your self-esteem. The weight I mentioned is a good example. Uh, reading helps and a lot of things. Make a list of the things that help you feel good about yourself. Number 11, don't talk about yourself. I kid people all the time. I said people are so busy when they listen, just waiting for their chance to talk more about themselves. But it really helps to uh, just focus more on somebody else. I said in a video the other day about the two most important three-word phrases you can do. Tell me more and then what? And then what is the second one? Get people to talk more about themselves. You have more friends and you know what to do with. And lastly, number 12 for today, treat yourself. Don't become a martyr. Do whatever works. Give yourself, if you have a little goal that you set and you hit it, excellent. Get it. But make sure you do little treats along the way. You don't want to be somebody, oh, I'm so, I just can't ever enjoy something. If you lost a bunch of weight, you're on your target goal, you're exercising, you know, occasionally have that bowl of ice cream or whatever that treat might be. Uh, for me, I love to eat a latte. I get, when I do a bunch of my stuff on my to-do list and it gets done, I love to go get a latte. So whatever it takes, make sure you're treating yourself to reward yourself for getting things accomplished on your priority list, to-do list, master to-do list, whatever it might be. So that's a business briefing for Friday, August 7th. Have a great weekend. Remember, be grateful and never quit.